grand old partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today I honor William Fry, born September 2nd, 1830. He declined William McKinley's offer of the vice presidential nomination for his second term. So instead, it went to some guy named Theodore Roosevelt. Fry practiced law with another future U.S. Senator, William Fessenden. Entry to politics was winning a seat in the Maine State House at age 30. He cast an electoral vote for Abraham Lincoln's re-election. Next, he was elected mayor of Lewiston. The legislature elected him attorney general during the gubernatorial administration of famous Civil War hero Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain. In 1870, Fry won first of six terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. Senator James Blaine, having been appointed Secretary of State, he was elected to the vacancy. He would remain in the Senate the next 30 years, rising to Senate President pro tem. Twice, vacancies in the Vice Presidency made him next in line for the Presidency. Fry served as National Committee Man eight years and chaired the main GOP. He was delegate at three Republican National Conventions. His grandson, William White, also a Republican, was U.S. Senate Majority Leader during the 80th Congress. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.